Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin back with another reaction video. This is going to be the final one for the day, guys. I think this is number six or seven. So I've been fairly productive today and um, I owe it to you guys because we have a lot of reactions. So I will be plugging away at some of the requests that you guys have over the next uh, week or so and uh, try to square up. I'm sure once I do, there'll be more requests, which is great because uh, with that demand, it seems like you guys are interested in hearing my reactions. So it gets me excited about doing more for you guys. So we've done some Tom, we did a Tom McDonald today. We got a Nova Rockefeller song done, a Brandon Hart song done. And uh, why the heck wouldn't we include Mad Child, right? He has this new song called Only Fans that I think came out either Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday this week. Um, and I sat on it because I thought maybe I would get to doing one of these. I thought maybe someone would request it, but no one has. But because it's relatively new, we might as well throw it out there and uh, stick with our uh, Hangover Gang members for today. Uh, which got a lot of play. So we're going to press play here. The song is called Only Fans. It's by Mad Child. So let's get to it. One more time, Jimmy. Sorry guys, we're going to backtrack because I think that was the chorus. Uh, lots of great lyrics here from uh, from Mad Child. Um, I don't know, I, I, I pick up what he's gathering here. I mean, this has been an interesting year with COVID. Um, I don't think I know what really OnlyFans was up until about a year ago. And uh, it seems like it's kind of blown up with COVID. So uh, I am all for women doing what they want with their bodies. as That, that is their choice. Um, if they want to do videos like OnlyFans, uh, all the power to them. Um, I see what he's saying, his point of view on it. Um, I'm not arguing his point of view, but I'm not exactly agreeing with his point of view on this one either. Um, I mean, the reality is, is these girls are in charge of their own accounts, their, their own videos videos that are being produced, all that kind of stuff. So it takes away from, uh, you know, perhaps being a sex worker and uh, falling into that trap with a pimp, uh, probably a lot safer for them. I mean, they're not seeing these people directly. They're seeing them through, uh, I guess, webcams. I don't really know how the, this whole thing works, but uh, I do know that seems like, uh, like women are making some money on this and, uh, and again, all the power to them. But like he's saying, I mean, they, 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 uh, you know, <laughs> you mentioned about people, uh, you know, these guys being weirdos and, uh, and, and girls kind of looking up to them as like, uh, you know, thanks for, for checking out my account when the reality is, is they are probably just weirdos that are paying money to do what they want with those photos. So I'm, I'm definitely liking the, um, um, the ability to not be politically correct with this. Mad Child speaking his mind, I think, even if we don't agree with things, that people have a right to say what they want to say. And it seems like censorship is all the rage nowadays and that people are so easily offended. Uh, and you know what? A nice discussion from two, two different points of views uh, never hurts, right? If you're, if you're standing for one thing and you have somebody that stands on the opposite point of view, have a talk with them. Engage. You know what? Because maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you can drop some knowledge on them and they can learn something. So I don't really think it's, uh, it's wrong that people would be, uh, uh, bothered by Mad Child's, uh, statements in this song. So far, I can see that probably some people are. And, uh, Again, if you're offended, just turn it off. I mean, he has a right to say what he wants, and you have a right to turn it off and not be a fan of his. It's just, it's that simple. Uh, I also think the video is is uh, you know basic, but but uh, but cool anyways. I kind of like this pink 
Jesus sweater he's wearing. I've seen it because I actually follow Mad Child on Instagram, and I've seen him wear this before. And uh, I mean, I, I, I'm liking the song anyways. I mean, I think it's kind of a, a, an interesting uh, point of view on his end. So I have a feeling, and I, I haven't checked out too much on the internet, but I have a feeling that this is the type of video and song that would make some people angry. Um, just ignore it. I mean, I, I think Mad Child, <laughs> he's on to something here. I'm not going to lie. He's definitely saying some, spin some truth here. And uh, whether you agree with it or not, he has the right to his opinion and making his song. Uh, he's... You know, if these girls can make this money doing what they want, then then so be it. I you know, yes, there's this rape culture thing. We are living in a new world. Uh, doesn't mean that um, you know if you have a an OnlyFans and you are raped that it's uh, it's acceptable. It's still not. It's really not. It's not okay. Um, but he's got he's touching on some points. I mean, we're living in a new world. I I grew up using the F A G word. Uh, like it was a word. I mean, you called somebody that when they did something stupid. You called somebody that when they, you know, missed a goal in hockey. Like it wasn't, it wasn't really um, the derogatory term that I've come to know over time. And I, I, I believe it's probably been about 10 or 12 years now where it's been like completely out of my vocabulary. I realized that, you know what? Yeah, people are sensitive and sometimes they need to grow a backbone and just deal with the fact that there's going to be people out there. But sometimes you can do your part in just eliminating the speech, right? So that's kind of what I've done in terms of that. The OMG, saying OMG out, out loud. Um, I like to say the OMG. Man, I just realized he's got an OMG on his uh, on his hat. So he's definitely he's definitely trolling people here with this video. Uh, my brother is a pastor and, uh, you know, out of respect to him, I, I haven't been using the o OMG term very much, whether it's the short term or the expanded one where you're spelling out the words. And uh, just out of respect to him, it doesn't mean that uh, anybody who says it is wrong. It's just one of those things that I've kind of taken away and said, you know what, I'm going to respect my brother and not say that around him. So um, again, creative video here, not like not the craziest video I've ever seen, but definitely creative lyrics. Um, Mad Child, not, not worrying about you know, <laughs> angering people much like Tom McDonald. And uh, there is a certain sense of trolling here with the OMG and uh, the hat and, uh, and some of his words, right? If you are born a man and, you know, you feel like you would be better suited to be a female, I have no right in the saying that. That's your body. You do what you want with it. Um, so if it triggers people and makes them angry, well, you know what? Screw them because you're, you have the right to do what you want with your life. Uh, so, Good song. Um, again, I can see that it would probably rile up some people and make them not all that happy. But I mean, like he's he's got a point here. But at the same time, I, I give uh, kudos to those girls. If they want to do that and they uh, they are going to make money for it, then so be it. I mean, I think today's a day and age with uh, the exchanging of information over the Internet and things like that, that you know what, maybe you're in this period in your life where you're trying to make money and you may regret it in five or six years when there's videos out there. But Again, that's their choice. I'm sure they've thought these things through when they're doing this. So, um, again, I thought I would tie this day up with a, uh, a final member of the Hangover Gang, and uh, I'm kind of happy we did. This is a newer song. I'll keep my eyes open to see what the uh, backlash or what the public thinks about this one, but the reality is, is 
Mad Child has two minutes and 42 seconds to say what he wants, and he did. And if you don't like it, then you can turn it off. And if you do like it, then press play again and listen to it again. Uh, that's your choice. So that's pretty much going to be it for today, guys. It's been a really fun day. I've had fun doing, uh, I think, five or six videos for you guys and uh, making my way through some of the requests. And I'm happy that I did that. So I'm going to enjoy what's left of the day. There is some sunlight out, and I think I'll go for a walk. I don't have my sun tonight, so I may try to be a little productive on my own and, uh, and enjoy what's left. So Thank you very much for, uh, for checking out the videos today, guys. I really appreciate your support. If you did like this one, give me a like. If you didn't agree with Mad Child's comments or anything like that, leave it in the comments section. Maybe we can get a debate going on here with, uh, without people yelling and screaming and calling each other names. Uh, but again, this is a song. He has the right to say what he wants, whether you agree with it or not. And uh, I think it's good that people will check this out before making a, an educated opinion for themselves. So thank you for checking this out. Give me a like if you liked this, guys. Comment in the comments section. Subscribe. Do whatever. And I hope to see you guys back sometime soon. I hope you have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye.